motivation versus discipline because motivation will get your nipples hard. It gets you you're jazzed, you know, just watch David Goggins on Instagram. That'll get you fired up, but it's fleeting, you know, and that goes away. It's the days where motivation is not going to cut it, where it's 3.30 in the morning and your alarm's going off and you're like, what the fuck? Like this sucks. It's motivation is not going to put you out of bed that day. It's that discipline. It's that determination. And when you've gotten to a point, um, and you know, you can say that it's your rock bottom, whatever, but it is, it's a point where you're like, you prefer to deal with the suck of the gym, of waking up early, of being a little hungry because you're dieting. You know, for me, that was when like I'm getting turned away at roller coasters. Like I'm walking, wanting to ride the new Harry Potter, just super jazzed. And the lady's like, sir, sir, through the crowd, sir. Uh, I need you to step over here. And they sit me down in this mock seat and to try to shut it to see if it fits and no dice. And that happened. That's the whole reason we went to the damn park too, (laughs) was to go on the new Harry Potter ride. And to say I wasn't humiliated was, yeah, that'd be lying. So I got to a point where like all this shit, all of it adds up and like, yeah, it sucks. Nobody likes waking up at three 30. Nobody likes running on the treadmill. Nobody likes not getting that extra dessert before you go to bed or something. But it sure beats, you know, all of that other previous shit. And that's like fuel. I think you use it as well, not to that degree, but we all have our certain fuel that we use to help us and to keep us, you know, not just motivated, but like disciplined.